Whenever I say to beginners, this is how you throw a dart, people instinctively go, where should my elbow be? Where should my forearm be? Where should my wrist be? None of that matters. All that matters is that your feet, down here, they need to be set and you need to be steady. That is what we're gonna work on today. So, here we are. Hello, I've just stepped to the hockey, as you can see. First thing we're gonna do, right? You're gonna step up, you're gonna square to the, square to the board, you're gonna step with your front foot, and all I want you to do is put all your weight in the middle of that front foot. Not too far forward, so you're leaning, you're falling over. Not too far back, so you're a little bit angled. I want all of that weight under your hip, straight down that leg, into the center of your foot. Imagine your leg is the tree and the feet is the roots. We want it pushing down, powering down through the middle of that foot. A good way to know if you're doing this right is you should be able to just balance on it. This foot is wherever, but my feet now and my balance, my hip, my leg, and the center of my foot are all aligned. I can comfortably stand here and throw a dart. This is what you need to understand. Balance is the most crucial part to darts because without balance, you're all over the shop. Your arm can be as still as it likes, but if your arm is still and your body's everywhere, then where's the dart going? Once we've got that front foot set and we've got all that weight, we've got that hip, the leg and the center of the foot aligned, balance on it and take this foot off the ground and then put your toes of your other foot just like that, just the toes. The reason we do this is so that players who put their whole foot down have a tendency with all that weight on the front foot to jump a little bit, to push off. If we just limit that contact, like I said, so we start here with just the balance and just the toes. If we limit that contact to the toes, our toes don't have the power to push us or to move us in any direction. Instead, it is just a placeholder to keep this leg firm and still. Another thing, loads and loads of beginners search. Where should I stand? You'll see some pros all the way over here on the left. You'll see some pros all the way over here on the right. The only answer I can give is experiment. If you start over here on the left and you go, oh, actually, I'm hitting everything I want here, maybe you should just stay on the left. There is no right or wrong answer. No throw is the same. You can try to imitate players, but realistically, at mine and yours level, we're not good enough. So, just go. Throw nine darts from the far left, the far right, the middle, and see what works best. Let's say you're good around the left and the middle. Well, then you can start experimenting with different, diff different distances there until you finally narrow it down. Personally for me, I like being a little bit left of center so that my hip is center of the board with my foot turned just a little bit. Finally then, the last thing I'm gonna speak on, put your foot at whatever angle you can fully balance on it at. For me, that's about a 30 degree angle and I can stand here comfortably with one foot off the ground. If you can go fully sideways and do it, then stand like that. It's entirely up to you. Don't look at pros and think that's how it has to be done. Every throw is unique. Do something that is comfortable, that you can balance on and you can replicate. That is how you play better darts with a better stance. So in summary, really just focus on keeping that weight, that hip, that knee and that middle foot aligned and you can just balance on it on one leg. Do whatever is comfortable and don't try and copy others. If you do this, your stance will be wonderful. Thank you very much for watching. If there's a tip you think I've missed, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you haven't seen any of my other content, check that out, especially if you're a beginner. Do me a big favor, like and subscribe this video and make my day, because hopefully I made yours. Have a lovely evening.